A visitor to Amsterdam soon recognizes it as the electric vehicle taxi capital of the world. Taxi Electric, Connection and TCA operates more than 170 Nissan LEAF and ENV200 electric vehicles for private hire by hotels and airport clientele, businesses and those with restricted mobility. The growing trend in EVs as public transport saves businesses money and helps Amsterdam and Holland meet sustainability goals while reducing air pollution. So how did it begin? In 2011, we started Taxi Electric, being the first fully electric taxi company in Amsterdam. We started this company because we wanted to have a major impact in this city. And it has. Its three lead vehicles have grown into a fleet of 22. Hendrickson said local and national subsidies for EVs, a total of €10,000 per vehicle, and the lower cost of maintenance and electricity reduces the cost per kilometre compared with standard taxis. Apparently we had a good idea three years back because uh, other companies are seeing the potential in EV taxis. TCA now has 50 ENV200 vehicles as part of their fleet of 1,300 taxis. Chief Financial Officer Richard Oling says TCA's EV program, now in its second month, is steadily gaining attention, resulting in more trips and profit for the drivers. The sustainability is a big issue for TCA and we're trying to make models for our drivers to make also sustainability profitable. The demand for electric vehicles and zero emission vehicles will be much bigger. We think it's the future. TCA driver Attila Selkuk says customers are taking notice. The electric car is, uh, is very good, it's, it's very smooth, you don't hear any noise. So that's why a lot of customers like it and we drivers like it too. The car is very practical. Uh, because, you know, I can fit four people inside and I can fit a lot of luggage. It's quite easy to charge. It's, you know, click and play. Selkuk says he easily charges during short breaks to about 80%. Holland has the highest density of charging stations. Each month, the city adds 25 new charging points, aiming for a total of 4,000 in 2018. It is all part of Amsterdam's goal to be emission-free by 2025. Connection, Europe's largest public transport company, just purchased 100 ENV200 vehicles. This sustainability agenda is not just ours. Uh, we see in the government, we see uh, with local uh, communities that uh, cities want to switch over to more sustainability. And by uh, delivering an active approach to that, we are able to win more contracts. As with any vehicle, it boils down to savings. In the coming year, Connection will also save on 200,000 litres of diesel and reduce CO2 emissions by 417 tonnes, which he says are important gains for the fleet. Nissan is not only a manufacturer of cars, but is a strategic partner able to think with us in the longer term how we do fleet management as a Connection. It is these kinds of partnerships that will allow Amsterdam and Holland to reach its sustainability goals and reduce local air pollution, says Michiel Hartmann. For five years, he has advocated for more EV-friendly infrastructure as chairman of the Dutch Organisation for Electric Transport. EV is the best solution for, for local pollution. You need to have a good plan to make your city smart and sustainable. The strength of the Netherlands is that the local governments and the central government work together with the industry. And that's the only way to get a step forward in EV. EVs are a sustainable uh, necessity. They're also a business opportunity and they're also fun, of course. That's what we like.